Hello, curious minds, and welcome back to our space lab. Today, let's see how to use a button to control an LED. For this, we would need the microcontroller, the breadboard, the button, an LED, two resistors, and a few wires. Let's see how to make the connection. The microcontroller does not just give out signals, it can also read them. In this case, that's how the button works. When the button is switched on, the port 7 recognizes a high value, and that turns on the port 6. Let's see how this connection is made. Let's put all our components on our breadboard first. So connect the button to 3C, 3E, 5C, and 5E. Put the LED on 14D and 15D. Now connect the resistors to the button and to the LED for 5B, 6B, and 10C and 14C. The red wires are for the positive ones. So connect the 5 volt line from your microcontroller to 3A, which is connected to the button. Connect another red wire from the port 6 on your microcontroller to 15A. Connect the black wires, which are the negative ones in this case, from 9A, which is connected to your button, to the negative port on your breadboard. Connect another one from 10A to the negative port on your breadboard. And connect one black wire from the ground, from your breadboard, to the negative on your breadboard. Let's see how the coding is done. In our sketch, we first define the pin that we are going to use for the LED. Let's use pin number 6. Then we define the pin for our button, pin number 7. Also, we will need a variable that tells us whether the button was pressed. Let's call it button voltage and set it to low first. In the setup part, we define the LED as output and, attention, the button as input. We've never used input before because we only controlled our devices from the code. Now the user can control our LED on his own. In the main loop, we need to watch the button. Therefore, we set button voltage to the result of digital read. When reading the status of our button, we see high. We turn on the LED with digital write LED high. Then we wait for 5 seconds and then turn off the LED with digital write LED low. Otherwise, if the button is not pressed and the voltage is low, we keep the LED off with digital write LED low. That's it. Let's check it. We haven't even touched the button, but it's already glowing. That's not what we wanted, but why? Have a look at the code. Can you spot a mistake? In our if statement, instead of comparing the value we read from the pin with high, we set it to high. Pay attention to using double equal signs when you are comparing things. Now that we've corrected the mistake, let's run it again. Press the button and it glows. This time we've created our first user-friendly device. Try playing around with buttons and lights. Control one light with two buttons or control two different lights with two buttons or two lights with one button. Feel free to reach out to us if you are stuck. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe not to miss the following ones. See you in the next video.